Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to create a booklet in MS Word. Now I have this blank page on screen, this new document at the moment, and I'm looking at creating a simple little booklet, um, either for some kind of informative material or maybe as a kind of promotional or marketing tool. Now to do this, I'm going to begin by clicking on File and then going into Print to go into my print settings. I'm demonstrating this using Word 2013. Uh, if you are on an older or more recent version, you may have to adapt the, the technique slightly, although it hasn't changed too much over time, so differences in different versions are minimal. But this is the print screen in Word 2013. I've got my A4 portrait looking page at the moment. And I'm going to click this page setup link at the bottom of the kind of middle set of options. So I open up the page setup dialog box. Uh, we could have opened this up in a different approach. But the thing of interest here is on the margins tab, about halfway down, there is this kind of pages section and a multiple pages option. And I'm going to select book fold from the list that they provide. They then show this preview at the bottom to demonstrate what they mean, because it won't look quite like this on your screen in the preview. That this is one page, the A4 page, but the A4 page has been split, like switched into a landscape form and kind of two pages made out of that one A4, that one physical A4 page. And I just want to demonstrate that that is what they mean. They provide an opportunity for you to specify how many sheets per booklet, but I'm going to leave this setting as all. And the other option you may be interested in here, in fact I encourage you to use, is the gutter setting along the top. Now just keep your eye on my preview as I increase the gutter setting. And you'll notice what it's doing is increasing the kind of space in the middle of the page, so technically in between the two pages in the output. And that's important because you may be using that um, to put some information there or maybe to kind of bind or staple um, these pages together. So by increasing the space there ensures you have the space for such actions. Now if I click OK and maybe return to my normal word view and I'm going to insert some page breaks to create some additional pages here. So I'm going to put three page breaks in just to quickly create four pages I'm going to zoom out so that I can see all four pages on screen. So I'm just slowly using the slider to zoom out here. And on each page, I'm just going to put in, I'm not paying too much attention to kind of detail here about how I go about this. In fact, I'm messing it up a little bit there. I'm not bother too much about alignment and appearance. I'm just trying to put a point across here, just entering some page numbers. And what I wanted to explain is that on screen, maybe I'll go into my print preview here, on screen these four separate pages appear as four separate pages. What I want to clarify is that because I've changed my page setup into a booklet, this is still one physical page. This is one A4 page in a landscape form, which I'm trying to present on screen right now, where that appears as two pages. So I've got page one, and then the second page is actually page four of the booklet. Once you've folded it down the seam, uh, we have four pages. And then pages three and four are actually pages two and three of a finished booklet. They're your inside pages. Page one is the first outside page, two and three in the middle, double page spread, page four on the last page. 
that's what it would appear on output uh, especially if you print this if you have a printer uh, that can print double sided that's how it's going to come out um, which I'm trying to emphasize because that's not how it actually appears within Word when you're creating the material you know when you go back to normal view and I'll zoom back in these are four separate appearing as kind of A4 portrait pages but that's not how they'll be output when printed double sided it is now formatted as a booklet so all these four pages would appear if I print double sided as one uh, yeah, physical kind of page and that is it you'll need to specify in your printer possibly uh, to specify double page printing but that is how you create a booklet effect in Word the rest of it is just putting your content your amazing informative or promotional material into this document I hope you found that tutorial useful please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com